Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Print Challenge. This episode is all about balance. We are going to make a snowboarder in the middle of a front side blunt slide. But to accomplish what you see on screen, I had to do more than just print the parts. This print has more going on than meets the eye, so let me show you what that is. So to start this project I did the usual stuff, I downloaded a model from Mixamo, I used some reference pictures, I did some rigging, some posing, some sculpting, and after adding some accessories I came up with this model right here. Now if you print this model the center of gravity will be somewhere between the legs, and the rail needs to be perfectly below this point to keep the snowboarder balanced, but personally I think it looks better if the rail would be positioned a bit more to the back, but in order to do that we also somehow need to shift the center of gravity of the snowboarder to the back and how can we do that well in theory this is kind of easy we want less material in the front and more material in the back and optimally the front should be a completely hollow print and the back should be a solid print so I made a model where I could change the boundary between the hollow and solid zone for different positions of the boundary I analyzed the center of gravity in mesh mixer and Excel and it turns out the optimum is somewhere around here. But how do we print something half hollow, half solid? This is going to be really difficult, right? Well, it turns out that this is actually incredibly easy to do in the slicer software. We just load the model into the slicer and add what is called a modifier box. We scale and move the box so it overlaps with the backside. Now we can click on the box and specify a different value for the info. So I will choose a value of 85 and leave the rest to zero. Et voila, we have exactly what we need. Now, having said all that, let's print the parts now. So now let's assemble the snowboarder and this part is really easy, you just place the head over the stud and same for the board, just align the two parts and push them into each other and at this point I do use a bit of glue to hold everything together. We just take the rail, we insert the two skirts. and we place it in the two snow parts. And again, I use some glue here. And now finally, we try to balance the snowboarder on the rail, like this. Cool. Now all you need to do is to make sure you don't bounce against the table. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.